Hello there, viewers, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on the Comston map, John Deere Appreciation Series. And I am actually in the process of getting rid of this trailer. It is a nice trailer, but for the farm size that I've got, it's a bit too small and the auto load on it is great i love auto load capability but it just holds small fail so a great starter point but we've got another trailer which is awesome and i'm getting rid of the blower as well it's just a bit awkward with the shape of the fields that I'm actually working with if it was in a open field without any sides I would happily use that over the actual uh, belt system that I'm using so for now just repaint repair and sell same with you as well perfect now i need to get you straightened up actually to be honest and come on there we go that's nice so i need to get you back home create a job and you need to just go there that will do nicely start job perfect thank you very much and now i need to get the other john deer here we go and i am thinking about getting seed for the actual uh, cedar now and that is yeah four thousand that's fine so there and there four thousand liters let's buy that there we go so we have got seed and you did actually see them disconnected but the system that I've actually got them, they are connected to one another. There we go. And let's just go around. Pick up the seed. Then I can get on with the mowing. There we go. And pay a presto oh now it's the back one whoops no that's E not R that one's filling up I actually do like the sound I do of things being filled Wow, this is just massive. And I do believe this is a direct drill as well. I have to confirm it. It's my uh, cedar, I should know. Yes, it is a direct drill. So I don't have to uh, cultivate or plow. So that is a good thing. And today it is, of course, getting stuff ready for the cows. That is the big plan for me today. So I need to cut the grass in all my fields. And I need to allocate grass for hay and silage to sell 
At the moment, I have got silage fermenting, which is just for the cows. And the hay, I do believe, is coming from the sheep. I've still got to plan what is going into the fields. I've got hampled straw, so I don't have to worry about that. Which is a great thing. Obviously, it's September. I need to slow down just a tad. Alright, here we go. And let's get out. Get into you. And let's get you connected to Tether for now. There you go, just get it out of the way. And here we go. It'll be nice if I can actually get a mod or have the ability to actually get rid of bushes. What? are placed on the uh, map, which you don't really fancy having around. You can get rid of uh, bushes and everything else on the terrain editor. And hey, presto, I'm out of there. I just need to put this to the side. At least it's here, because hopefully... I will be actually hiring someone to mulch this field and the other field. There you go. I need to get over to the sheep field and mow that. And my equipment does actually need a good old clean, I'll tell you that for one thing. So the grass in here is going to be for hay. I've already placed the mower. There we go. And then I need the wind rower. And then the swath will be tethered. And then hey presto, hay. There we go. And Turn that on, and once I've mowed everywhere, oh yeah, I need to lower it, I can then turn my attention to the mulching. I can swap this to the actual mulcher. There we go. And mulch the fields now with this. There we go. Obviously, I can't get to every single piece of grass. But I will be making... Oh, okay. That's the uh, tree there. I'll be making changes to fields. Like cutting down some trees. Turning them into uh, wood chips. Or just selling them as logs. So I can actually get closer to the side. But for now, I'll keep them up. And I'll just get on mowing. This is a nice uh, big field as well. And I've got to cut the horse paddock area. The training area. And the pig area as well. I'm going to have a lot of grass. Go. Which is awesome. And of course, silage. Yeah, I really do like this mower. It's so simple and effective. And with these fields it's actually ideal because a butterfly mower would be 
a bit tricky because the shape of the fields. And I do believe this mower can actually fold up as well nicely so I can get it through the gates. There we go. Second pass, which is awesome because everything's awesome and you know what else will be awesome. You considering hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, sharing out my content if you do please and of course remember appreciate you all aside if people don't actually like me asking for likes and subscribers and that it's just a YouTube thing they of course uh, like you doing that don't do it all the time but I think I have to do it all the time It'll be nice because uh, the channel uh, will grow. I'm actually getting into other games which aren't Farming Simulator. I started a series called No Place Like Home in a post apocalyptic environment, and I can't speak. I never can, really, to be honest. And you just have to uh, clean up uh, the mess. I do believe it's got a storyline to it as well. So it's not just you gardening, cleaning rubbish, destroying robots, raising animals. There's actually a uh, story to it. And there is another series as well called The Ranchers, which I... I'm a backer of. At the moment, I am doing a series during its alpha stage. And that is a bright, beautiful, cheerful game. Bit of a storyline to it. It's kind of the Bible farming, open world, creative. It's kind of like a 3D version of Stardew Valley. If I had to actually describe it, I would definitely describe it as a 3D version of Stardew Valley mixed in with Harvest Moon. And did I say it's bright and cheerful? And I do mean bright and cheerful. It just stands out. It really does. Now, I just need to uh, get this all uh, sorted out. So, see you when I'm ready to uh, win row. I can't turn around in there. Actually, you know what? I... No, wrong way. Reverse in. Straight, keep it straight and go. And go, go, go on. Yes. Made it. Phew. Right, let's unfold. Get to a good spot. And lower. And off we go. Goodness me. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, but my target is to actually at least turn the grass into hay and I think I will be actually good there because if I don't it's just going to mean that the next episode is just going to be awkward and long I've still got to cut the fields off camera and the only reason why I'm doing that is because there is a 
lot. I might leave the collection of said grass in an episode. But for this grass, it is specifically for hay. And there should be a lot of grass. And this is actually uh, running kind of smooth, really, to be honest. Well, that is now complete. The wind drone is 100% done. It is time for me to terrorize this grass. So, let's get lined up. There we go. Let's start here. Let's lower it and check out the settings. So, toggle work mode. And that is not good. It needs to be at least a meter. The control Y. As you can see, it makes the actual uh, soft wider. There we go. That should be fine. And turn on. Get rid of you. And let's get going, shall we? Look at that. Beautiful hay. And instead of actually editing it, where it makes it spread out everywhere, I'm actually doing it to the swath. So it's easier to collect, shall we say. And this is just awesome meter-wide swath, so I reckon every uh, pickup can actually pick it up. Look at it! It's awesome! I don't know what I'm actually going to use to uh, pick it up. I'm actually thinking about getting a forage wagon. I know I've got a baler, but I'm actually just thinking about a forage uh, wagon. To just pick it up off the ground and then dump it straight into the silo instead of faffing about with uh, putting the bales, splitting them up, and everything else. Just pick it off the ground and chuck it in. Or I could use my uh, belt system and just have a uh, trailer behind it as I did last time. But even with that, it's using the same thing over and over again. I would like to have some sort of uh, differences. Next time I win row, I'm actually thinking of getting a different win row. One what just goes straight across. Instead of a V-shaped one. Lights, though. Oh, Luminac was a bit too uh, bright. Not ready for lights. Look at this. It's awesome. I actually like this. This is actually kind of cool. So, let's turn you off. There's a bit off course there. Right, let's just over here so I can actually turn around a little bit pick up these bits here the new one and there we go let's make sure I've got all the pieces of grass there perfect Right, now I'll go back to this line, because I did start over here, and off I go, and you know what, I don't think I need to show you all of this, because obviously you're going to see some more haymaking throughout the series, and this is a big build, and I have unfortunately ran out of 
So I'm going to end the episode here. And off camera, I'll finish off this field. And then bring you in in the next episode to show you me actually collecting the hay. I will cut the horse paddock and the training paddock as well as the pig pasture off camera. So in the next episode I'll be showing some of the mowing of this field next to here as well as the collection of the grass everywhere else. So for now, this is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode. And remember, I appreciate you all. And hopefully you'll see me in the next one. Bye.